Hey, it's Ginger Boy. Welcome back once again to Lost Roy Fairs, the escapade back to the Mushroom Kingdom onto Verdant Canopy. So, let's see what this is all about. There's a wick. Well, then, that was interesting. You may not want to change the berry graphics if you have berries in uh, the level. Maybe something you don't want to do. That is, yeah. I mean, if you're going, if you're going to have an item in a level, berries in this case, and you change the graphics of them, you might want to make sure that you don't use that item, because then you run into things like uh, donut drop berries. Also, I was playing really bad right there. Oh, Mr. Chuck, man. I'm kind of wondering how I was going to get across there. Um, I want Turtle Guy. There we go. Don't know if Chuck Man was going to destroy that or not, but I didn't really want to take the chance to find out. And I am playing bad because I thought I was going to fall right there and I did not. Fudge. Really, really bad playing. Anyway, let's try this again and do it with a better <laughs> conviction of uh, not getting hit because it's really not that difficult to do. I was just, is, was, whatever. Playing dumb. There we go. Do that. Get him out of the way. And don't make Chuck Man go anywhere yet. There we go. That gets me another Yoshi coin, probably unneeded in every sense of the word, because Dragon Coins don't seem to be worth uh, anything in this hack except for an extra life. There we go. Fry that guy. Check those. And continue. There we go. See, this is how you're supposed to be playing this game. Not terrible. Not terribly is how you're supposed to be playing this game. Okay. Ooh. Not a fan of that meanest fire trap. Not the worst thing in the world. I'm not a fan of it. There we go. And make that bounce there. Again, I only found four dragon coins. Must be one in a pipe somewhere that I'm just flat out not finding. But that's okay with me. I will ignore the fact that I didn't find it. And go over here, Blueberry Woods, red level. So let's check this level out. Palette is... Very different from the previous level. I don't know exactly what is... I don't know, something just feels off about it. Like, the colors just aren't matching up with uh, what they probably should be. Can I go down this pipe? Yes, I can. And that leads me over here to Wiggler Garden. Frick. Okay. I don't want the Wiggler here. This guy is going to be in the way. So I will very gladly take him out of the way. Okay, so do that, do that. Sit on this platform. What the f... Okay, that is... I killed the guy. Which means there were two sprites sitting on that platform. 
Oh, that is very, very poor design right there. Okay, well, now that I know that's a thing, which is kind of crappy in all regards, not really much I can do about it. So let's just avoid all of the things. That sounds like fun. Also, I don't know how you're supposed to get that, except for maybe jumping really, really late on that, uh, uh, whatever it's called, platform, falling gray platform. Oh, fudge. I thought I was out of the blast range, but I was not. I'd rather stay on the blocks. Except when I can't. Almost. Almost a one-up. Well, I can uh, try and find the secret exit now, I guess. Not very happy with the uh, thing going on. Ugh. Losing all my power-ups to an enemy that didn't exist until I got too far over on the screen. So, either it's going to be in a pipe, or it's not going to be in a pipe. I know, very specific, but, uh, fudge. Not what I wanted to do. Wanted to get up here, so I could drop down on Charlie Man, which again didn't help me. Again, <laughs> not playing good. Let's try this again. And try and figure out where I need to get a thing. Okay, you go away. Do that so I can get up here. Jump there. And jump here. Wait and dodge all the enemies. Then I can explore down here, see if there was anything, which there is not. That is a very poorly placed block. Actually, I should check the pipe. Um, maybe check the springboard somewhere. Because I have a feeling I can go in this pipe. Oh. Okay, never mind. That was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. So that goes all the way up into the mountain. Okay. Well, let's go down to the uh, Dark Lore Manor over here and do this one. See what is up here. Woo! Dareth enter Darkler Manor, my stroll sanctuary. Thou shallest descend into eternal shadows for interloping here. I will not go into madness. No, that's not what it said. Eternal, sh eternal shadows? Something? I don't know. But... I have a feeling the doors are not real doors, and you're going to have to find the right one to get anywhere positive, which is going to suck, but uh, it's kind of what I expected. Kind of, okay, nothing up there that's worthwhile. Probably could have gotten through the boo ring a little faster, but doesn't really matter. Also, that guy has the things. Sprite limitations. So, um, such a to do. I don't feel like reading all that out. Huh. Okay. That just kind of happened. 
I'll get that. Anything above it? New. Oh, I'm not going to be a fan of this level. You know, ghost houses are fine for the most part, except when they do this sort of stuff to you. And it's like, yeah, by the way, now you have to go back to the very beginning of the level because you just didn't do one thing properly. And so, let's see. There was the midway point. Need this duder. Actually, it doesn't really matter which duder. It really doesn't matter which duder. Can I flat out make that jump? Probably if I tried. No, I don't want to go in that door. I want to read this again. Well, such and things such as this will possess illusion. See, here's the problem I have with this. There is no visible sign that you can walk through that. They're not backwards. They're not a different color. They're just there. So now my thought is, what if I go into a different door? Well, that door started differently. So there's that. So I am happy about that choice I made. Need to check all of these, make sure there's nothing I don't really need. So there's lots and lots of Yoshi coins. You know what? Easy time. Take the bubble. Hey, let's try this last door. That gives me a pipe instead of a door. And I am back here. Oh boy, I am not a fan of this ghost house at all. I probably should have took my gut feeling and skipped it. But so I go here. I don't know exactly like what the difference is to really determine where I need to go in this place. Because there's the door in the same spot. You know what? There is probably something in here I need. Because it gives you a... No, you still go through a door. You still go through a door, which means the pipe, because it has a pipe instead... I'm playing bad. Um, there's something in this room that I need. Because unless I wasn't supposed to hit the coin block in the other room, which is a possibility. Ah, no, there it is. You can say that's a pipe instead of a door, which means I can take something through it. Which means now I need to figure out exactly where I need to use the uh, P-switch. Where I have a feeling it's up there. Or it's over here. Either way. Works for me. Oh boy. And I didn't see that boo thing until... After. I safe for the most part if I sit down here? Yes. What about here? For, for now. Make those guys go. Okay, more than three hits. And more than four. Four hits. This is getting a little out there. Yeah. 
I'm exhausting most of my blocks. I wasted two. I think I wasted two. Okay. Good enough for me. I did it. Now I'm hoping that's all there is to this level. Hope there's no secret exit or anything. Which I'm going to assume there isn't. But I'm going to end it here for now. This has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back later with more Lost Wayfarers. See you guys then.